yeah, here we go. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Uh, going back out on a Hobie 16. I know there's been a lot of Hobie 16 videos, but that is because the Hobie 16 is the most convenient and what we do on the Hobie 16 can be applied to any other type of catamaran just before I go. What we're gonna do today is I'm going out, it's pretty windy, it's probably, it's probably 20 knots and it'll probably get up a bit more, but I'm going out single-handed on the 16 with no trapeze to see how we can manage the 16 with no trapeze and uh, controlling the boat in that amount of wind like that. That is what we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna grab the mooring, unhook it, and then I'm just gonna walk the mooring along towards the back of the boat, and that is gonna help us to turn away from the wind which is going to help us to get started. So this would be very handy if you were in deeper water. So there we are, she's just turning there and we're off. No trapeze. This is quite unusual. Usually I've got a trapeze, but today no trapeze means more comfort. Uh, which can't be a bad thing. Yeah, so what we'll do is just a normal sort of burning lap like we'd normally do, but with no trapeze. Uh, all right, so just getting out into a little bit of space first. I haven't got any downhaul on yet as well that you may have uh, spotted. Here we go, so just heading up there, stop the boat so I've got a bit of space just while I pull the downhaul on, and I'm gonna pull it on as hard as I can to the full beans setting on the calibration sticker there. All right. So we'll start off by going a bit upwind and we'll just go for a burning lap. We'll put one foot under the toe strap for security. We're gonna set the traveler, I think most of the way out. Get rid of some of the power here. Okay. Just resetting the GPS, just in case you never know. We might do something good out here. All right, so just to sail along, I have got the jib flapping a little bit. Let's pull that bad boy in. Uh, so it's still flapping, so it's not as tight as we'd usually have it for sailing upwind. It's gonna come forwards a little bit. Just feel the bows lifting slightly. But there you can see I've got the traveler almost all the way out, and that's on the upwind to cope with this amount of wind single-handed bit of a gust there so I'm heading up and sheeting out a bit okay just checking the traffic and everything so I think what we'll do is we'll go downwind and then we'll go upwind again so we can try a few tacks I'll just wait for this wind surfer so before the bear away this bear away might be quite emotional without the trapeze because we can't get as far back. And of course, we haven't got the weight out, but we're gonna have a go. All right, really checking the area, because we don't want to get caught out here uh, during this bear away. So while we're bearing away, just gonna get right to the back. Gonna ease a lot of sheets. Just watching the bow. If the bow even dips a little bit, I'm gonna ease a bit more sheets. And then we're getting a downwind onto that angle of 90 degrees apparent wind. And then we're just going to sail it as normal. If we get a gust, we'll bear away a bit. If we slow down, we'll head up a bit. And on this point of sail, not being out on the trapeze isn't an issue because we wouldn't usually be out on the trapeze anyway. 
So I'm using a bit of main sheet here as well to control it. So if we get a gust sheeting out, bearing away and then sheeting in again. Okay, I think it would be only fair if we go for a jive. So when we go for a jive, we're not gonna do the jib until afterwards to avoid the jib wrap. See the video for that. Okay, we're just gonna go in, gonna travel in a bit. That's actually gonna make the main go across a bit earlier. Might make for a slightly better jibe. Okay, so here we go, let's go. We're going in with confidence. That is, oh, that is the main thing there. Traveling out again after the jibe and just uh, you know, get the jib across there. Woo. Okay, now I need to set this jib, jib traveler all the way out. Finding that I haven't quite got enough hands to do all the tasks. So I'm gonna head up there. Okay. Okay, so we've made it through one jibe. That was, wasn't too bad at all. The trick with the jibe when it's windy, regardless of how you're sailing the boat, is to go into the jibe with a bit of speed on and with confidence. Okay, just uh, that was just checking the lens. I put a new coating on the lens uh, to see if it helped. Looking at the boom cam, it doesn't appear to be helping very much. So uh, back to the drawing board again. Don't suggest Rain-X, I've tried that, doesn't work. The problem is it's the salt water, it's so salty that it sets on the lens. Okay, so anyway, back to the sailing. So I'm just keeping the main sheet where I feel is a good spot. Now, how are we going to tack? With this much wind, single-handed, no trapeze. All right, so I'm gonna bring the traveler in a bit. Let's go for the toe strap. The toe strap is a good plot spot because it's a good gauge of where you are. All right, and the trick in any wind tacking a catamaran is lots of main sheet. So you see, I've got the main sheet pretty much block to block there. Uh, the way I'm coping with the power is just by sailing really close to the wind. So close, in fact, we're almost stopped. In fact, we did stall there a bit. Yeah, because usually I wouldn't sail a long like that for very long. Uh, but perhaps my explanation was a bit wordy. Um, okay, so I need to get the boat going. That would be good. So we're in reverse, a bit more jib there. And then when we get going, I'll just ease the jib off slightly. Okay, so we're gonna go for the tag. I've checked the area. Getting loads of main in. And then we'll initiate jib backs. We'll go across. We're actually going straight into a three point turn. Just going straight for the jib to make sure that doesn't pull us over. So we went into that tack very slowly, which meant as soon as the jib backed, I actually reversed the rudders um, because we were going backwards for a second. So there we go. Now we're going upwind again, just getting forwards a bit. Going to let the traveler out so that we can have a bit more tension on the main sheet. Okay. and. I'll accept, yes, in this amount of wind, single-handed, no trapeze. It's not a particularly elegant way of sailing. We have got the jib flapping a fair bit. We could try a bit more on the jib. Yeah, we're going along. What are we doing here? Seven knots. We're not breaking any records, but we're certainly going along. So we've got the traveler out. Well, both travellers all the way out, and that is our main method of dumping the power here. And we're sailing really close to the wind. But what if we want to sail on a reach? 
oh my goodness what would we do we just have to use the sheets to control the power so we'd certainly dump a load of jib before we bear away and then we just use the main sheet have the main sheet going in and out pretty constantly controlling the power Gus air holds in the air. Okay, so there we go. Let's go for another tack. So I'm going to bring the main sheet in, the traveller in, sorry. To the toe strap. And we're just going to have a little bit of way on and main sheets in tight going up there reversing the rudders immediately jib off bringing the jib in on the other side changing the swivel cam in fact changing the swivel cam there just cost us a kind of second stall but um that's all right in this much wind we can just pull on a bit more jib to get going again Okay, and now let's go for another bear away. So before the bear away, we're gonna let the traveler all the way out to the knot. Jib going out a lot because the jib could well pull the bows down. I'm getting right to the back of the trampoline and I'm just gonna sheet out if the bows start dipping or if we start lifting the hole too much. There we go, okay very nice okay now we're just sailing as normal watching the telltales but what we're doing is if we do get a gust and we have to bear away just gonna ease a little bit of main sheet at the same time as bearing away there okay so we're gonna go for a jibe like we did before I'm gonna bring the traveler in a bit to get the boom to come across earlier that's gonna help us to carry the speed and then we're going to go into the jibe with confidence. Ready, and here we go. Whoa, yeah, okay. Maybe a bit too much confidence there. Okay, I have done better jibes in the past. I'm not going to lie to you there. All right, just going to change the swivel can, give it a little dust off, dusting the cameras all the time for the dust. Okay, so there we go. Um, I hope that has been vaguely useful to see that it is possible to sail slowly in this sort of wind. We're going upwind and downwind and we, we can't reach slowly. That is one thing to bear in mind. If we want to sail on a half wind course, that is when we've got to put some pace on to control the power. And do you know what? I think that's what we should do next. Let's see how fast a Hobie 16 can go. No trapeze, single-handed. That is massive. But do you know what? That's going to be in a separate video that's going to be coming up very shortly. Um, but for now, thanks very much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed to Joyrider TV, hit that subscribe button if you want to see how fast this bad boy would go in this mode. The fastest we've gone has been 16.7 knots. And I'm quite keen to see if we can smash 20 with no trapeze. What do you think? Okay, so we'll see you again soon on Joyrider TV, very soon for some more. Thank you.